but they may be exceeding because many more have to be explored. They may exceed nearly 7,000 species. Uh, about 300 generic names have been reported in the last hundred. But as per uh, Cummins and Hirotsuka, uh, they have recorded 120 genera. Now, with regard to the families of Raspanje, there is one uh, uh, classical uh, classification given by detail, which is uh, very simple. He classified the uh, Raspanje into two families, that is uh, uh, Melamsoraceae and Paxinaceae. The basis of this simple classification is whether the teleospores possess a pedicel or they are without the pedicels. If they are having the pedicels, they are placed in the family Paxineaceae. If they don't possess the pedicels, they are placed in the family Melamsoraceae. Then uh, Henderson, Wilson and Henderson, he proposed, added one more family, that is the Coleosporiaceae. But the latest classification, which has been suggested by Cummins and Hirotsuka, they proposed nearly 13 families like Pacopsoraceae, Malamsoraceae, Paxiniastraceae, Coleosporiaceae, Cronaceaceae, Paxiniosiraceae, Micronidraceae, Chaconiaceae, Paxiniaceae, Pragmediaceae, etc. Now, apart from the pedicel characters and the teleospore characters, the spermogonial characters have been taken extensively into consideration in the classification of these families of rust fungi. Now, this is the simplest classification, very easy to follow, proposed by the detail. If the teleospores or sessile, if they don't possess any pedicel, they have been placed in the family Melamsoraceae. If the teleospores are known to possess the pedicel, they are placed in the family Puxineaceae. Now, this is the classification proposed by the uh, Cummins and Hirotsuka, they have classified the order Eurydinalis uh, into several families. The basic character is whether the telia is embedded in the host tissue or they are exposed outside the host tissue. If they are embedded in the host tissue, they are placed in the three families, namely Phacopsoraceae, Malamsoraceae, and Puxineastraceae. If the telia are not enclosed in the host tissue, if they are exposed outside the host tissue, they are once again subclassified into uh, two groups, one group comprising of the sessile teleospore genera and the another group, the persilate teleospore genera. Among the sessile teleospore genera, Coleosporiaceae, Cronarchiaceae, Puxineosiraceae, and Chaconiaceae, Micronidraceae, these are the families, whereas the persilate teleosporid families are Puxineaceae, Phragmediaceae, Palilloraceae, Europixidaceae, and the Ravenaliaceae are the families which are known to possess persilate teleospores. Now, this is the uh, percentage occurrence of holomorphic genera. Well, many of these students may be aware 